Alright there guys, this is Chris, and I was allowed to say a massive welcome to what, what I believe is my first Modern Warfare 2 commentary. Uh, today's match is on the map Karachi, while I'm using the ACR with the red dot sight, running sleight of hand, stopping power and steady aim. Uh, I'm actually going to be running the PP2000 as my secondary, as that thing's an absolute beast. Um, but yeah, it does turn out as quite a nice match, it runs out as a 23 and 1. Uh, which for a ground war team deathmatch, uh, especially playing with vocal fish, uh, that's not bad at all. Uh, so guys, I really hope you enjoy it. It's, it's quite a nice uh, rushing gameplay, and I believe we're in the Predator Missile, the Harriers, and the um, AC-130. Now, the AC-130 is a very, very, very powerful uh, 11 kill streak. The one thing I was thinking, right, is in Modern Warfare 3, how do we think these kill streaks are going to stack up compared to Modern Warfare 2? Now, when you think about it, Modern Warfare 2's kill streaks really were dominant. If you, as soon as you got those kill streaks in, you could call in that pre that um, nuke. You just basically, as soon as you got your Harriers, you were set. Literally, you just had to keep calling them in and just keep going along and following the kill streak. However, in Modern Warfare 3, as you may be aware, there is no nuke, so that might be a bit interesting. Now, there is such kill streaks such as. Um, Assault squad, some something. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked at the Modern Warfare 3 stuff for a while because I don't want to ruin it for myself uh, too much. But it basically is you call in a team of juggernauts and they come and come in with riot shields and stuff. And obviously, also the other kill streak where you can arm yourself as a juggernaut. It it does seem to me like these kill streaks aren't going to be quite as powerful and not dominate the game quite so much. Now I want to know what you guys think because I, I mean. I'm not entirely sure, obviously none of us have the game, but as a comparison, if you look at any of these websites to sort of say what the Modern Warfare 3 killstreaks are going to be, would you certainly say that the killstreaks are going to be as good, or are they just going to be more boring to use, are they going to be more interesting, is there going to be a lot more gun on gun gun fights? You know, like I say, you just leave a comment in the, uh, just please leave a comment in the, uh, the section below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, the second thing I want to be talking about with you guys today is playing Modern Warfare 2 and the lead up to Modern Warfare 3. Now, if you watch Twitter, the amount of people who actually have Modern Warfare 3 is incredible. I mean, really, it is absolutely incredible. And also the amount of people who have been banned for playing it early is also pretty ridiculous. Uh, but what they are all saying is just how similar Modern Warfare 3 is going to be to Modern Warfare 2. So that is exactly why I'm here playing on Modern Warfare 2 now. Um, running the ACR is a very, very good setup, really, because the ACR is a powerful gun. It's got very, very strong long range abilities, and it is, you know, it's, it's a quite a generic gun. If we're seeing it in Modern Warfare 2, the chances are we're going to be seeing it in Modern Warfare 3. Of course, the UMP is going to be back, overpowered as anything, ready to go and dominate the game. But we're just going to have to see how it goes because obviously none of us have the game. It's going to be interesting just to see which gun is going to be dominant. Because in every single Call of Duty there has always been the one gun that dominates it. In Modern Warfare 2 you're looking at the probably the UMP which is what I'm uh, typically what I'm using now. Um, and then in COD 4, uh, probably the M4. Um, yeah, probably the M4. I would, I would certainly say the M4 was probably the dominant gun in COD 4. And in Modern Warfare 3, unfortunately, it does sound like the UMP is back and it's going to be overpowered like a bitch. So, if you want to sort of try and get used to a different gun pre Modern Warfare 3, get your aim back, get whatever you need back, because for me personally, coming back from Black Ops is completely different. As in Black Ops, it's sort of a lot more bullets to kill people, whereas Modern Warfare 2, it's fastest trigger first. And that's the way it's going to be. Guys, are going to have to just get used to it and practice and practice and practice. You will get there. Anyway, guys, this has been another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please be sure to leave me the like rating below. I really would appreciate it. Until next video, guys, I shall see you soon. Thanks for watching.